Hi everybody, Golden Era Book with me here today. We are going to look at the training methods and strength feats of Clevio Massimo, known as the Italian Hercules, who possessed one of the most impressive physiques I've ever seen from the Bronze Era. Not only was this guy massively built for the time, but he developed ridiculously sized traps as demonstrated in this photo of Clevio lifting this humongous kettlebell where we can appreciate his upper body development, which is rather amazing. At the time, Clevio had also some of the most impressive arms in the world, as well as clearly shown in these photos. I mean, look at those arms, they're just freaking enormous. I love this shot of Clevio Massimo. Clevio Antonio Massimo Sabatino was his full name, born on the 4th of May 1895 in Opi Labruzza near Rome, Italy. The Sabatino family was said to be large and powerful. His father and two uncles were known in their home village as the Three Giants, said to be descended from a line of Roman gladiators. Can you believe it? To quote Massimo about his family, quote, For them, might is right, weakness is a crime, and men and women should be strong, end quote. In 1906, the family went with the wave of Italian immigrants to the USA and settled in Buffalo, New York. Clevio had to work from the age of 12, but he spent his free time with music and working out at the YMCA, where his body went up to 75 kilos through simple bronze era training. Clevio built his physique through Bronze Era style exercises using barbells, dumbbells, weightlifting, and odd lifting, which I have described several times on this channel. Later, he took up hand balancing and wrestling, and by the age of 17, had developed an impressive muscular physique. He initially became a model and would work posing as a professional for sculptors and artists. Then he got the idea to become a strongman and dropped his first name to be named Massimo the Strongman. He merged acrobatics, weightlifting, and the violin together and suddenly gained tremendous popularity. In the Barnum and Bailey Circus, he had a number called Modern Hercules, and it was something to behold. He lifted eight men with his legs, held a piano with a musician on his lap, with his hands behind his body, holding approximately 660 kilograms, did a handstand with a 95 kilogram barbell tied to his neck, bending nails and tearing up phone books. He also lifted 83.5 kilograms with a screw press with one arm, 71 kilos with a single arm lunge, and 1,590 kilograms with his back. In one article for Client's Bill magazine, he stated that he is the only man in the world who can hold 227 kilos between his teeth and standing on his hands. That's right, in a handstand. That's incredible. He gave exhibitions while in military service. It is said that his strength was so great that he would go through the manual of arms, which is a gun drill sequence, using a fully grown 60 kilogram or 135 pound man instead of a rifle, executing all the commands as easily as the ordinary soldier would with a rifle. Such was his strength. He wowed audiences during World War II at Camp Gordon with this performance. He later formed a duo with a young acrobat called Clovis and toured the States as Clevio and Clovis. In one number, they performed a headstand, that is, a partner did an inverted handstand with his head on top of Massimo's head, while Massimo played the violin. But the highlight was a trick in which Clovis balanced like a ballerina on Tony's chin. Imagine that. Another one of his stunts was to have a 142-pound man do a handstand on his feet while Tony, or Clevio as he was also known, was lying down, face down on his stomach. And he would pull him, basically to perform a leg curl with the strength of his hamstrings, bringing the person up. That was pretty amazing. Imagine the strength in his hamstrings for that. 
Despite the undisputed success that he had, the vaudeville shows began to lose the interest of the audience, so Massimo switched to another role, and he became a wrestler. He toured North and South America for several years, and held his own against wrestling stars such as George Hackenschmidt, Zbysko Siganiewicz, and Frank Gotch. At the age of 33, his measurements were as follows, as we can clearly observe that although his measurements were not as enormous by today's standards, his forearms were almost the size of his upper arms, giving him incredible gripping strength as already described. Judging from the photos, you would think that his measurements would be larger. Such was the massiveness of his physique, and you're right. What's so amazing about Clevio is that even though these measurements, these initial measurements were taken at 33, he continued to develop his strength and muscle size well into his mid-40s. And that's when these photos were actually taken. At the age of 45, he had the following measurements. At a height of 5 foot 8 or 174 centimeters, and weighing approximately 200 pounds or 87 kilos, he had a chest of 120 centimeters neck and biceps of 43 centimeters, a waist of 84 centimeters, and thighs of 62 centimeters. And so we can easily see that Clevio was really massive. He grew a really massive physique during his mid-40s. In his older age, Tony took up the profession of masseur and was a fitness advisor to President Teddy Roosevelt, and he died in the spring of 1975 at the age of 84. So I do hope you have enjoyed this look at the training methods and strength feats of Clevio Massimo, the Italian Hercules, or as I like to call, the Roman Gladiator. I mean, this guy really apparently this, this is a descendant of the Roman Gladiators. So, you know, it's pretty amazing. If you have enjoyed this video, please give the video a like, subscribe, and leave me your comments. What do you think of the strength and methods, all these amazing stories of Clevio Massimo, the Roman gladiator? I know that when I saw these images and found out more about him, I was fascinated at the amount of muscle this man built at such a time in the Bronze Era. I mean, this, this time in history was rather primitive. These photos truly do this great strongman of the past great justice and illustrate how effective the methods of the Bronze Era were to develop massive muscle and strength naturally. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye. For now, if you're interested in learning Sandow's different bodybuilding systems, please visit my website where you will find the most comprehensive collection of ebooks on the subject. Everything from Sandow's chest expander system, which involved pulling and extension movements, to the light dumbbell system, which involved pressing, curling, and flexing movements, as well as the Sandow developer, which essentially was one of the first cable stations available for the home gym. All the relevant ebooks to all these courses are available on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com. Online training is now available including my new program Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts and Larry Scott and much much more and select your poster now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. 
To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Subs the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.